<coughs> Sorry about that. No one will excuse me. So, uh, anyways, why every time this always happens? You know, it's better way to uh, Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please. Yeah, sorry about that. We're going to work 60 minutes again. Anyways, back to where we were. The real question is, what does she want with all this? And what are the shackles for? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. <coughs> oh, so they, so they force workers. People to work for them. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons. Chains, it's it's all the fucking same. This is one sick this is one sick person we're dealing with here. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You wanna talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. Fat point. Oh Why god. Tongue of dog. Equipment. Jeez. What do you even need that for? What the hell is that? What? Uh? Well, who's, who does it belong to? Your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big deal about some dirty... Looks like Crane's seen some abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Hmm. Maybe there's something in the pockets. No time for traveler's checks, huh? Meh. He won't be needing this anymore. Sick piece of the shard. It's the shard. Yes. Finally. We got what we came for. Hey, hold on. What? Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. But what about me? Huh? What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. Report to the business office. Tell Snow I sent you there, and we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. Some kind of protection. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Snow, you, you can trust Snow. She'll help. We got four more entries. I might be able to get all the Book of Fables entry here. No, no, let's go. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. I got good news. What I found. The last piece. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. 
excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Uh, sure. Don't go far, Sheriff. We'll be I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. At that point. Fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me, what evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. Hey. <laughs> on tops. Me too. I with bated breath. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? What do you mean? You got me. Well, Let me take a look. Where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it at the butcher shop, the cut above. It was in Crane's coat. There was a lot of weird magic going on there. That has something to do with it. Other than that, the last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some. Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. <laughs> well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Tabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? What about his son? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff. But I've taken a real... Yeah, I'm trying to pay you. I'm trying to pay you, you know. I'm trying to give you money back at the Lucky Pawn. You wouldn't take it. I was just being polite. Ever heard of it? That wouldn't have covered the cab ride home, let alone a glamour. Please, I'm not looking for any more than to cover the big ticket damages. Not a cent more. I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank it's, you, it was you yours now. You got the money now. That's always your son. So lean, if I catch you again, the farm is always on the table. Good. But of course. That with. Now then. The, now then, Lee. What's up? Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I what just is... made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, hmm. at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. It's because he can get Glamour. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this. 
but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What the hell? What just happened? How did she? she you're in the wrong direction. I looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Let's go for a better one. We'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat. Show us the cooking man. Who is he? Show me. We don't have a lot of time. Just show me where I can find the crooked man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. What the? I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold well. On. What just happened? It just burned. It moves. So that's what he meant. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Let's Baby, go. Wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. All right. You can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this. Yeah, that's way. we need to do this by the law. Book. Bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. <laughs> Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. This time, he won't be getting away. What the hell? What is this place? Sheriff, I'm here to take you to the boss. Hey, what? Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. You knew I was coming? When they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? They knew? You? Coming? How? They told me. Wait, did they have a magical miracle of dog? made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to Whoa. bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. What is it? Look, this is the one okay, thing on. I have to do. Please I'll follow. Don't this hard on me. I'll follow you. Lead on.
Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> okay then. You know, I'm probably the last person you'd expect. It's so dangerous for you to be here. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's mm -hmm. not like that. That you, did... you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. The cooking man is dangerous. Like and s he gave me a job. Yeah, you may do. Lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe, because if you and the boss find another one, against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. Yes, the crooked man is dangerous. Him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop go ahead. At me. You got a job yeah. to do. We finally get to see the quicker man for who he is. Sir. Well. Thank you, Tim. Now, who are you? Isn't the accommodating sort. And yeah. you are. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. You see. Jesus, he killed his own wife and children. Yep, this is definitely a cro this is definitely a sick person. Hold on, wait, ho oh yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, sorry, I need to check something real quick. I unlocked all of it. All the season four ones. Huh, that's all the f Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hmm. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. It's over. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Of course, they had to end the episode right here. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. Hello, Bunny Mary. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <gasps> you sent Khan to the farm. You ain't even for him to play Zyla Khan should not go to the farm. Do you tend to move in this as ribbon? You and 63.8% players do not try and ruin ribbon. 
Would you infer six point eight players went to the lady lucky pawn first? You and seventy three point three players decides to not go to the farm. You and eight point nine percent players say you're bringing him in. The Cry Wolf, the final episode. Let's see what this brings us. I mean, your eyes and the teeth. You're not really supposed to do that, are you? I can avoid it. <sighs> no. Holly's sister, Lily. Do you even give a shit about us, the strays? That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? We're destroying the tree. No! We're not burning the tree, Snow. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I don't know. Yeah. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. <laughs> I guess all of our choices come to matter in this ep come together in this episode. That's how oh she does. Oh Big B! Uh, she better. This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Hmm. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Episode 5, Cry Wolf. You've come a long way. Hmm. You must be tired. <coughs> now give up or I will. The boys are correct. You haven't had a lot of rest recently. Please, Sheriff, relax for a moment, will you? Do you want a drink? Something to eat? Vivian makes a very nice, very... It's elegant. Really, a carpaccio. It's lobster. Sirloin. I told you, crooked man, it's over. Really? Yeah. What do you think you're doing? He's gonna. Mr. Wolf is our guest, and I have every intention of cooperating. So don't waste the silver. Sit down, Jersey. Well, Sheriff, for the sake of transparency, why don't you tell us why you're here? It would help settle everyone's nerves, I think. You know why I'm here. You killed those women. What women? 
Faith and Lily, the girls who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Yeah. I know. I assume by your confidence in accusing me, you must have some proof of this, yes? Some allotment of evidence. Your servant over there told me you did it. That's a fucking lie! I didn't say anything like it's that! fine. All I said was that this was your town, and nothing wouldn't happen without your approval, all right? That's it. If only that were true. Those women. I don't relish telling you that the killings were perpetrated by an employee of mine. It's a very unfortunate bit of business, but I promise you that the matter will be dealt with internally. I just want to settle the issue for you, and to assure you that it's... Who, wait, who really did it? Fortunate bit of business. You're gonna tell me right now who killed him. Sheriff, I have complete respect for you and your job. I hope you know that. But I simply can't divulge that information. You really shouldn't worry yourself. As I said, I've got this under control. No, I'm gonna deal with it right now. Yeah, right. What do you think this is? Some kind of negotiation? The man said he'd take care of it. I'm the law here, not you. Now tell me who did it. If you he didn't do it, scared of you. You want to see the big bad wolf <laughs> claw <laughs> you again? That's enough. enough. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but in the interest of preserving our alliance, if you have to know, it was Georgie. It was you all along. However, like I said. I'd be handling the matter if you don't mind. Georgie. How could now you do that? Wanted, so just sit down now. Why would you do that to your own girls? So what? Why? You should have just kept your nose where it fucking belonged. Why'd you do it? Why kill them? Does it matter? Look, the fact is. George here misinterpreted one of my instructions. Misinterpreted? And I want to make things right. So, let's work something out. What's there to work out? I'm protected, aren't I? Your protection has limits, and I think you've far exceeded yours. But you could murder someone in cold blood like that. You fucking asked me to do this! And then you attempt told me to, to kill blame him. me for it. You will be silent while we discuss what to do with you. This is right, bollocks, sis! You're just gonna let him do this! So what do you say, Sheriff? Can we discuss terms? You can have Georgie. Consider it a gift. Ensuring our continued cooperation. I'll right, take both of I'll you. Be taking both of you. You're not taking me, you fucking punts. What the fuck is this shit? You said you'd cover for us. For minor infractions, not murder. Just go with him, Georgie. You're gonna sink us all. What's wrong with you people? You're really gonna sell him out just like you that? You think I give a fuck if I'm the one who the shit do you think you fuckers are? Get the fuck out of I here! I do apologize, Sheriff, but I think it's best if you leave now. There's no way I'm going with him! Are you kidding me? Things are about to get unpleasant, and I would rather you weren't here to watch. You can go join that whore at the bottom of the lake for all I give a shit, but he's not taking me anywhere. I'll roll over on the lot of you before I let that shit happen. You'll come with me. I'm out of patience, crooked man. I don't have time to fuck around here. This could have gone so well. But you just had to complicate things. To speak the truth, I've never been a very good mediator. Why negotiate when you can just decide? Hello, Bloody Mary. How did you die? <laughs> Did I miss anything good? You again. Look at you all fixed up. <laughs> this time, Arthur! Big B, it's time to release your wolf side! Bingo. You're done, Wolf. Come on, we're pretty much done here. 
I'd like to say it was nice knowing you, but I'll be glad to see your insides turned out. That's for all the girls. for good! I'm coming after you. Come on. Oh, shit! I know. I'm coming after you too. Man, I'll forget I will get another time. No, they're not getting away this time. Now you could have just grabbed them, right? You know you could have just stopped them right in their track since you did manage to stop it. Come on. See, there's anything in there? No, I don't think so. Come on, we can't stay here. Damn right, you can. Hello. We're taking you. I'm taking you both in. Shit. Hello, Bigby. You're under oh, arrest. <laughs> oh, crooked man's the one you want. But of course, you're too much of an idiot to see that. 
Or maybe you just like me too much to let me go. Yo, Mark. I'll rip you to fucking pieces. For what you did to those girls. Go on, then. Please, Sheriff. Haven't you done enough? Look Why are you protecting him? You can't seriously want to protect this guy. You know what he did. I'm yeah. not going anywhere. It isn't his fault. He's a murderer. Faith and Lily, he's the reason they're dead. Look, I know he made a few mistakes. We all have. What? He made sure they couldn't talk with those damn ribbons, and then he killed them. You're wearing one yourself. Doesn't that bother you even a little, knowing that man of murdered- Of course it does. Those girls- So it's all my fucking fault then. I you didn't fucking... mean- You ah! fucking- You're gonna throw me to the fucking wolf too? You know I didn't have a goddamn choice. What the fuck? Ugh. What are you talking about? I to... Why? You can't fucking blame me for that. Why'd you do it then, huh? If it's not your fault, then what the fuck happened? <sighs> Ooh. Look. Faith and the others tried to pull a run on us, and as you can imagine, the crooked man wasn't too thrilled. But of course, the big boss didn't want to get his fucking hands dirty. So he told me to take care of it. You think I don't know what that means? Either I do what he says or I'm the one getting dealt with. So I fucking killed him, and I'd do it again. Because it's not my fault. Don't have it. You think that'll help? You're under arrest. You still haven't learned, have you? Still the same old fucking moron. Go ahead and kill me then, but it won't bring back Lily or Faith. It won't free your friend Narissa. And I'm just the sap taking the fall for the whole thing. It must be so easy being you. Just come in here and blame me for all this shit. Job's done, right? George is the bad guy. It's all his fucking fault. After I'm done with you, I'm going after the crooked man. But what was I supposed to do? You don't know what it's like, Bigby. How could you know? You could have done anything else. You could have let them go. You could have freed Faith and Lily from those fucking ribbons instead of murdering them. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If I freed them... What would you have me do? Kill her? Georgie, don't. It was them or Vivian. So you tell me, if freeing Lily meant she had to die, what are you talking about? This mm. is the original. The girl with the ribbon. Mm. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Couldn't take it off, couldn't talk about it. She used her little purple ribbon to make more of them. To keep our girls quiet. To ensure absolute discretion. You promised you wouldn't. All mm. that magic is connected to this little thing. You remove hers, and the spell's broken. They're all free. But you know what happens to her? The same thing that happened to Faith. So don't you come in here and tell me I fucked up. What the hell, Georgie? We were supposed to look out for each other. Wait, those were your ribbons? You're in on this? I thought you cared about them. I do. Of course I do. You have to understand, nobody was supposed to die. When we built this place, it, it was just a stupid idea. A gimmick. Discretion is our guarantee. That's how it started anyway. This was supposed to be our place. We were going to be in charge for once, and nobody would try to control us or use us. That was the point. Then the crooked man showed up, and everything just turned to shit. So, do you get it now? Why I couldn't just... If you still think it's so fucking simple, then you do it. Go right ahead. Kill her, then. No. What are you doing? Break the spell. Save the fucking day! Stop it! I'm not playing this game, Georgie. I won't kill her. Hmm. Don't talk about me like I'm not even here. Please. You think this is hard for you? My life is such a fucking burden on your conscience. Don't I get a say? It's my life. Like it was either of yours to give up in the first place. Of course place. you do. You're right. It's your life. I know what I've done. Wait. I'm sick of everyone thinking that they can just... Do what they want with my life. I thought it would be different here. But it's all the fucking same. Vivian, I didn't mean- Do you think I wanted to be this person? What I did to Faith and Lily? To all of them. Vivian, wait, I- Every day I have to look Gwen and Hans in the eye and pretend I don't care. 
I have to forget what I've done to them, what I took away from them. I look at Nerissa, and I hate myself. Vivian! I can't pretend anymore. What are you doing? Vivian, don't! Oh. 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 Goodbye, Vivian! Georgie. No! Holy! Fuck! No, 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 no! Why'd you have to do that, Vivian? Vivian! Just... Jesus. Poor girl. Vivian, I didn't fucking mean it. I was just... <laughs> well, that was messed up. Hmm. Ah, I see. I'm taking you into custody. Get up. Don't think so, Bigby. I'm gonna die here. I think we both know that. Just make sure you give the crooked man the same treatment when you find him. Really fuck him up for me, alright? Don't worry about the crooked man. <sighs> Old foundry by the river, all right? Shepherd Metalworks. He'll be there. Fucking asshole. Perfect. <laughs> you want to finish me off now? <laughs> or do you plan to kick me around a little first? Let's get you used to One by one. That's what you want to do, right? That's not who I am. Prove it then. No more games, all right? <laughs> we both know how this ends. <laughs> Just make it quick. All right, Georgie. <laughs> Sorry. There's <laughs> these two living together now. That just goes for business. It's time to end this. Of course. Bigby, 
wolf. The big bad wolf. <laughs> you used to be something. What the hell? How did you see us all this? They used to fear you. They'd hide anywhere their small shivering bodies would fit. Silver bullets. Silver. The big bad wolf. Where are you? What the? Where did she come from? It's about time you showed up. I had to take care of some things first. Little errand boy. That's nice. Ah, Bigby. I see you made it here in one piece. I do apologize, but I have some business to attend to. I leave you in the capable hands of my associate. Come find me when you finish, dear. Don't worry. This won't take long. Get out of my way now. Don't make this worse. Aw, he doesn't want to play. I'm sure you'll persuade him. <laughs> wow. What a man. Stealing punches while my back is turned. Didn't your mother ever teach you to fight proper? Where did she go? How does she keep doing that? That. Seriously, bro, how does she keep doing that? Where'd you go? Where are you? Stop, Stop hiding now and what the hell? Oh my god, that's a true form then, is it? She looks like a demon! Very good time to release that form of yours. There you go. Where are you?
Alright then, true form against true form then. No glamours, no nothing. Let's end this. What the? That... Oh, so she could clone herself. True form. Look at Jam and I'm back tight. Where are they coming from? Special attack. Guess that's the real one, then. Oh my god, that was insane. So, I guess you saw that then, huh? We got a lot of talking, you and I. Hello, Bigby. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. This gun holds six rounds of... I won't miss next time. Hmm. Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow well. White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can Fine. I at least agree on that? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny. 
coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. Mm -hmm. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. Bull shit. I already talked to Georgie. I know you ordered their deaths. Yeah. Mr. Porgy is mistaken, I assure you. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. I don't mean to belabor the point, but just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, you won't get your answers. But you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Fine. You're often reckless. And I worry you're not thinking of the... Let me ask you an honest question. What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean. Do you really want the truth? This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people. It's my job to bring them down. Hmm. And why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? How'd you figure that one out? Being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. Yes, but you orchestrated the hit. I'm that stupid. You're the one who caused all this. Obligation to bring me in. But you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. Thank you. I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. You're under arrest. I did not want to uh, get shot. <laughs> and your punishment will follow. Hmm. I know, I know. Well, unfortunately, guys, I had to cut right here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please hit subscribe button for more daily content like this and hit the notification bell. Well, to receive notifications like this, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.